Yikes. It's too early to get emotional. Worship today was awesome. Yikes. I'm going to continue my uh, series in Ephesians. I've been looking at different selected scriptures for the last uh, few months. I'm going to do the same this this morning. Um, you know, we just live in such a world of confusion. Um, I drove by um, the abortion clinic that I protested at on 8 Mile Road. It's interesting because they've taken down all the signage on their building in just the last couple of days, and they put up new awnings and fix the building up. I guess it must be profitable to be an abortion center. You're spending a lot of money on your building. But what was most disturbing is somebody put a new sign on the front of the building and it said, Jesus is pro-choice. How crazy is that? At an abortion clinic. I have a friend of mine, Roy, who um, tries to engage some of the women going to that abortion clinic, he's there almost every time it's open. And, um, you know, um, talking about there's options, there's um, adoption, um, there's, there's a, actually a Compassion Pregnancy Aid Center right next door. Um, it doesn't get as much business as the abortion center does. And um, God is not pro-choice. We live in such a world of confusion, it's crazy. You know, when right is wrong and wrong is right and things are upside down, I've never seen it this bad. I mean, it's crazy. Um, Our governor, um, last week, I I mentioned this once already, I'll mention it again. Um, There was $20 million in the state budget set aside for adoption services and alternates to abortion. And our governor has, um, according to our state law, has line item veto power over the state budget that's submitted to her. She only wants abortion services provided. She vetoed over $20 million that the state legislature put in the state budget for adoption and alternates to abortion. She took that money out. She didn't want it spent to help people make other choices that would be more godly and better choices and save lives. I mean, $20 million was allocated and then with the stroke of a pen, um, not important. Um, God help us. But uh, on Tuesday, you have the option to vote. And um, if you don't vote, you don't have a voice. And don't complain if you don't vote. And you better know what you're voting for. It doesn't matter if they're a donkey or an elephant or whatever. You vote for righteousness. Because if you don't vote for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, I don't know what we're doing. And, uh, you know, if the church would just rise up and be the church, life could be so much different. Instead of this, this dastardly course of downward spiral, we could change it if the church actually stood up and became the church it's so crazy just over here at the Sunoco station just before midnight on Thursday you know a guy was shot and uh, not only was he shot he was now permanently paralyzed because he was shot several times over an argument at a convenience store gas station right around the corner I mean how much closer to home can you get? It's just sad what's going on. I mean, every single day. Um, yesterday morning, you know, the dollar store over here was robbed at gunpoint. Um, it's crazy. And, um, you know, uh, it's unbelievable how much we really do need Jesus. I mean, people just don't recognize how much this world just needs a savior I was reading something last night from John MacArthur I like John MacArthur he doesn't have everything down perfectly but he has a lot of good theology 
some things I don't agree with him on, but I do agree with him on this. He said, on the cross, God looked at Christ, and he saw you. Then he goes on to say, now, he looks at you and sees Christ. That's really the way it should be for all of us. God should be able to look at each of us and see the fruit, the godly fruit in all of us. I pray that's so. We just need to step up and be the church in a greater way, in a bigger way. And I pray that God would do that. Anyway,